guys, my name is Sophie the Shadow Hunter, and today I'm doing my book review on The Nazi's Officer's Wife by Edith Hannah Burr with Susan Dworkin. I love, love, love this book. I've been wanting to read this book for, I want to say at least two years. I wanted to read it last year and this year, and when I found out my new library has, I gotta check this out, and so I did, and I loved it. It took me about five days to read it, but that's okay because I was dead fact reading, so I took two days off and I went ahead and finished it the next day, which was awesome. I gave this a five out of five stars on Goodreads. If you guys have read this book, let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. So this is about, it says, how one Jewish woman survived the Holocaust. And that is just what it is. It's about a Jewish woman who was in a work camp and she got out and she started working for a Nazi and they fall in love and decide to get married. He does know, however, that she is Jewish and she's able to survive the war through their marriage. They have a child and after the war is over, their relationship doesn't end up last lasting. They end up getting divorced and she remarries. Um, this is an amazing story. I love all history, um, Holocaust, historical fiction books I have read. And I'm just interested in all the books like that I can get my hands on. However, reading this book as a nonfiction, it really, knowing that it is, really helped me to enjoy it more. And I really liked it because you read of, I've, I've read it anyway, I don't know if you guys have, if you guys have, let me know all the books like this you've read that have been fiction. But this is the first book like this book that's been nonfiction where a story like this actually happened is that someone... Uh, is able to hide their identity and survive the Holocaust and the war through it. And just to see that happen, it was a really interesting story. I loved the ending. However, it did have some really sad parts at the end. It's definitely not the saddest Holocaust book I've read, but it was real and it was true. And what this woman went through was heartbreaking. How she survived it is amazing. And I would love to read any other books like this. So if you guys know any books like this, please let me know about them because I would love to know. I'm always looking for a good nonfiction historical Holocaust book. So, um, at the beginning of the book, it was good and I enjoyed it. It, just, it was a little slow at the beginning, but then picked up like halfway through. I already liked the, her, the writing style of the book. It was really interesting. It was just a really great book. If you guys have not read it, I would encourage you guys to read it because I really enjoyed it. I see myself rereading this. Um, also, just a side note, I have been wanting to go to the Washington DC Holocaust Museum forever and I really want to go because she has a permanent exhibit there and I think that would just be amazing to go see. Um, you know, some people were able to survive by, you know, pretending they were somebody else. And through the story, you see how that affected her. She she felt like she was herself. When the war was over, she wanted to be who she was, and that was part of the reason why it messed up their marriage, because she was putting on such a hard front to act a good, true German wife. And she did that so well. And when the war was over, she's like, I'm free, I can, you know, she didn't want to forget her Jewish heritage, and that she was Jewish, and her family. But she had to, she didn't forget her family, but she had to kind of forget where she came from and she didn't want to forget that. I mean, that's part of the problem with what happened with her relationship is her husband wanted her to be that. And that's not who she was and she didn't want to be that anymore. But she was able to do that for such a long time. I just think this is such a strong story of courage, you know, and grace in a time of peril and death. Um, the fact that they had a child and that was born in the, in the Nazi hospital is amazing. I think that's really interesting. I would like to look into that more and see if there is any other Jewish born people that have been in that hospital. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if there was, but. So I just, I really enjoyed the book. Let me show you some of the pictures. But this, this book was just so interesting and intriguing and I just loved it because it was just it was a true story so here is her father Leopold Hahn and there's her mother Khalid Hahn 
And here's some pictures of her with her family members. And here's a picture of her identification card. So I just love this book and I really enjoyed it. Um, I want, I really want to go see the exhibit. And I would like to find out more about her story. So she was at a um, camp for a long time and she got released and her mother was just being sent to a camp and they didn't know where she was. And throughout the war she thought her mother was alive and she found out later that her mother did not survive. However, her father did survive. And after she remarried, after she, um, before she found her husband and they got divorced, she was working as a judge through the war and she said that she was Jewish and they were like, well, we're going to have to prosecute you and they did it and she was able to keep on living. And that just was mind boggling to me. They knew that she was Jewish. She was pretending to be German. She wasn't. She was married to a German soldier and she was able to survive and that was mind boggling. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you like this video. I'll see you guys next time. Have another one. Goodbye.